Howdy folks, I'm the Roleplay Gamer and I like to party. Welcome to the Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing Final Cut. Final Cut, you may ask, what the wizard is that? It's uh, it's basically the Incredible Adventures of Van Helsing 1, 2, and 3 smushed together into one big game, uh, chock full of improvements and whatnot, I'm uh, given to understand. And it sounds very exciting. I am going to get into it. We're starting with Ricardus, the uh, the constructor. I've, I, I've chosen the name Ricardus. Uh, because I'm a wanker. Uh, Ricardo's Van Helsing. We are the son of of uh, the famous Van Helsing. And uh, we've continued in our father's footsteps. Uh, you know, monster hunting. So we've come to Borgovia, supposedly because they've asked for help. But we don't know much about the story at the moment. At least I don't. Uh, and there you go. <laughs> so what's the Constructor about? The Constructor is basically the, the minion character. Uh, not personally what I would have chose for, you know, the flavor of a minion character. I'm going to turn down the game volume here a little bit. I feel like it's a little bit loud. Uh, not the, yeah, the ne necessarily the flavor I would have chose. I prefer my necromancer types, but you know, we're pretty cool. I, I'm, uh, I'm certainly pleased, definitely jacked up by the concept of this, uh, gun platform here that we start with. This seems like a passive thing and supposedly it, it can gain its own skills and whatnot, but I haven't really had a look at it. Uh, in too much depth. I've played a little bit of, of the second uh, installment in this series. Uh, but not... Like, I don't know, maybe like eight hours or so. Not a whole lot. It seems to be... It's an action RPG, of course, if you haven't <laughs> noticed already. Um, and oh it my. seems to be that was really story-driven. I'm impressed, actually. They do have a sense of theatrics. We could still fly over the chasm. Really? Oh, right. Uh, sometimes I forget how human you are. We should follow the normal pathway there. <laughs> so one of the things that seems uh, you know really different, and I personally find interesting about this game is uh, is your companion here. I think her name's Katarina. Something like that. Um. Hang on, minion damage. We probably want that, because we're going to go full minion build here. There, there seems to be, I mean, like I said, I haven't played a whole lot of the game. So take my opinions with a grain of salt here. Uh, but there definitely seems to be a lot of build variety, which I love. Um, if you've ever heard me talk about action RPGs, or just RPGs in general before, you know I love uh, the, the ability to take the same class and turn it into a whole bunch of different types of characters, you know? Uh, yeah, so we're definitely going with, uh, with full minions here. Ooh, corpse. Looks pretty nice. They've, um... Alright, alright, let's level up. Let's, let's level up before we start talking about anything else. Okay, so we've got our basic stats, you know. This, at first glance, this looks pretty confusing, but I think they've, they've gone... They've made some good improvements here, like, to the skill thing here. They've, they've turned it into a wheel instead of a tree. And, for me, it's easier to follow than, than in the second game which I've which is the only one I've played. Alright, so I think we're gonna go into machine synergy here. This ability represents your control over mechanical creations. It increases uh, minion damage plus one point five percent and your uh, maximum rage. Now that's a whole other thing. There are so many systems at work here. It's nuts. Like there is there is a lot of content here and it kinda makes me excited. Uh, so I'm just gonna go nuts into that at least for the moment. Okay. <laughs> hey, hang on. Each class has some unique bonuses and or specialties. Gun platform. Okay. Beside Katarina, uh, he also has a weird science-driven flying mechanical companion bristling with guns. I like the sound of that. I really do. Uh, yeah, so Katarina, you can tell her to do a whole bunch of things. She can just be a, a damage bonus, I think, or as a defense bonus, and she sort of flows around, flies around in ghost form and doesn't get attacked. You can also get her to pick things up and whatnot. You can also tell her to um, fight close range or, you know, at range. Um, and you can upgrade her along those paths as well. There's a lot of customization in Katarina as well as your main character. It's, it's making me very excited. So we've got a few options here. Like straight off the bat, we've got, we've got options. And I like that. So we can go uh, Pocket Mechanoids, which is... Uh, I played around with this before. I think this is just three close range little 
mech spiders and I, be I believe these are persistent it's not like they're on a timer or something which i love that i love it when pets are not on a timer you know you stick around until they die uh same deal except there's two of them and they're ranged then we've got a stationary turret uh suicide spiders and something else i don't know <laughs> this does not look like a minion so i'm not excited about it Ah, uh, can attack enemies at range. I think we're going to go one point into pocket mechanoids, and then after that, we're going to go into deploy turret. I played around like maybe an hour most at most with this character, just to get a feel of how things work, just so I'm not like, what is going on when I record the video? Um, yeah, and I went pocket mechanoids and mechanical aids. So I'm going to shake it up a little bit. Okay, so we've also got auras, which we haven't got any points to spend into yet so these are your passives fuck it's uh <laughs> there is a lot here i think we're good i think that's all we can upgrade we do have one more point but nowhere to spend it because these require two skill points okay that's enough rambling shit let's keep going <laughs> and i think katarina can die so i'm sort of i'm not sure where i want to keep her you know what i was gonna say i might i might put a set her to ranged mode so she doesn't die but considering that i'm gonna have like so um minions with me that can tank as well i feel like she's probably sa safe you know in melee range so like i said before it's very it's a lot more story driven at least that's the impression i get a lot more story driven than your regular uh action rpg which i might appreciate as long as the story is decent it's sort of a weird release because for the most part, like if you're interested in this sort of thing, you're probably, you're probably well aware of it. You probably own it, maybe. Um, if you own all three Van Helsing games. Here we go. With a bag full of treasure. I love it. My gun platform already laying into him. That's what I'm talking about. So this is your standard sort of treasure goblin type of setup here. Let's just lay into him. I'm not sure if you can actually kill him or if you just drop shit as... as Okay, it, like, that seems like an him? interesting mechanic. Looked like he'd seen a ghost. No, don't blame this on me. You started chasing him. <laughs> it's certainly got some, um, some amusing dialogue here, I'll give it that. So I'll, I'll try my best to, to boost the volume uh, where appropriate. Again, I mean, if this series continues, I'll be able to, I'll get a better idea of what sort of volume settings, uh, are optimal here so I've leveled up again and I am tempted to go into hang on what's I think we just click on her we go to behavior and I'm gonna get her to pick up all the gold so I don't I don't have to worry about that it's just giving us tutorial stuff here I'm keeping it on just in case something comes up that I missed previously um, yeah it looks nice um, previously it did not but <laughs> with the final cut um, release they've They've also released a, a HD texture pack with it. Companion level up. Okay, here we go. I, let me tell you, I'm really liking the effect of the gun platform. I like the fast shots that it's just laying into things. That that's, feels real nice. I've ac I'd actually be tempted to do away with my, with my own personal attack and just use minions and whatnot. That seems like my sort of thing. Um, so actually, I'm going to pull back a little bit. I'm going to upgrade Katarina. Okay. Shit. <laughs> skills. So she's actually got three pages worth of skills here. Holy fuck. There's a lot of customization. Plus, she's got the standard sort of stat stuff. All right. So I've already got a general idea of what I wanted to do. Uh, this ability determines the effectiveness of your companion's ranged attacks and her skill to avoid damage. That's not necessarily what I wanted. Go away, tutorials. Ability to... Hang on. This ability determines the solidity of your companion's material appearance it increases her hit points and the damage of a melee attack i think i'm going to make a melee which is the opposite of what i did last time um hang on skills i can also get her she also gives me a magic item find bonus i'd be tempted to go with that for now i don't need her to push out that much dps just yet so i think i like that i think i like that fuck okay that's <laughs> and then we gotta level up again holy shit okay uh, and the turret. That's what I said we were going to do. Oh, we can do another one? Do I want the other mechanical spiders? No, 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 no. no. We'll, we'll go... Maybe we'll upgrade these guys. Yeah, let's up. Let's upgrade the, the guys we already got. 
And nothing else to put in auras, so I think we're good. Wait a second. Our uh, character sheet. Oh, shit. <laughs> so much stuff. All right. I think we're good to go. Let's do kill this, baby. Stranger. Bury him in the woods. No, don't kill I the stranger. The don't kill the stranger. Okay, so I'm going to leave the goal just to see if, if Katarina... Oh, what, I've leveled up again? Is that serious? I suppose it is. It is early days. She did. She picked up the gold. That's nice. And I've picked up a lot of items that I've neglected because I've been gas bagging to you guys. <laughs> I feel like I've been talking too much, but I've also got a lot to say. So what I was saying before, again, with the talking. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a weird release because it's sort of a, a re-release, but it is also an improvement. So um, if you're not already aware, if you own one, you know, the incredible adventures of Van Helsing 1, 2, and 3 then you automatically own this. You get it for free. Um, if you own only one of them, or if you own only, only two of them, you will have to, you know, buy this separately. Okay, here we go. Stop right there. Easy, lad. We're friends here. They all say that, but I won't let in any dangerous fiends on my watch. No, sir. How dare you? I'm going to tear you apart, and then... I'll teach you some manners. No, I, I didn't mean you, my lady. The undead nobility of Borgova are always welcome to haunt here. But you, with the Van Helsing hat, we don't like your sword here. With your weapons and bad manners, I am a monster hunter. Of course you are. Or you are just a troublemaker. Oh, you don't have to worry about my servant. I keep him on a short leash. Katarina! Fight you, my lady. You can pass, and your manservant too. We'll talk about this later. Fine. Don't even thank me. <laughs> I love it. If you're not aware, I believe Katarina is more the servant. Um, so that's sort of a, a fun role reversal, and you don't expect the ghost to be the accepted one while the flesh and butt, blood... Uh, living human is is rejected <laughs> that appeals to me my only criticism so far is loading times can be a little bit long but uh you know i suppose it is what it is but i'm having fun with it so far but also you know again keep in mind i haven't played a lot of it um i have looked at a lot of reviews though prior to the release of the final cut uh and it seems people really enjoyed uh, the first installment. All right, more story. Here you go. What is that? You didn't recognize it? That's the ink. The dark material of creation and dreams. But that's a myth. Borgovia is the only place where the ink leaks through the cracks of the world. So you can enter the ink here? Yes, and then you can travel below or behind this world and appear at certain places. That's the ink walk. Oh, you mean teleport. That is such a cliched word. <laughs> um, yeah, so it seemed people, it, it seemed people really enjoy, excuse me, really enjoyed the first one, um, and the second and third less so, even though they added more content and more classes, uh, whereas the first one I think did only had the choice of one character type, I think, don't quote me on that, um, even though there were more in the sequels, it seemed the setting, um, the maps basically of the first one were vastly superior, so it's cool to be able to play the first one again but with all the improvements of the later ones welcome stranger my lady and a good day to you we must get to borgova the bridge has collapsed then you need to talk to the village mayor who knows the pathway through the forest and where do i find him he went out to investigate a wagon that got lost on the forest road with some valuables he hasn't returned yet it's never that easy my dear van helsing Alrighty, I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, it should be in the video description and the thumbnail and whatnot, we've also got a map. Um, quest reminders, yes, yes, I understand how, how all this works, we've also got storage that we just passed. Uh, I am playing hard and hardcore, so if when we die, that's it, the character is supposedly locked. So it should be exciting, I, I actually, my, I did my test run um, about an hour's worth, like I said, on normal, and it was a little bit too easy, which is why I cranked it up to, uh, to hard. We also get an experience bonus, um, 
which you know increases the higher we go above normal power up season so i'm not i don't quite understand this the whole rage thing hey oh actually no it does it does explain it later uses rage power up power up. yeah yeah i don't know i think i need more sk <laughs> more skills first uh but yeah i'll uh i'll get my my little bad boys going on all up in here Actually, you know what? I got a turret that I'm not using. I should use it. Just so I'm just trying to, because we got some extra. I am. I'm kind of confused. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Actually, I probably want to go the other way around. And right click will be my turret. How does this work? I don't know. I think we got like charge up sort of nonsense we can set combos as well we can order oh shit there's just so much stuff in here you can also play with a controller if you want i feel like this has the potential to be just a really awesome full featured game so at the moment i haven't got a, an attack at all um i've just got my guys sort of mopping everyone up for me i'm just aggroing and running away which i kind of like i like that i am that's that's a viable strategy it's working for me so far at least okay looks like we've got some big i assume they're werewolves i'm gonna put down my turret and uh see what it can do oh shit <laughs> no don't don't shoot me come over to my turret get over here yeah surrender you bad boys halt there we go. Shift click. Oh man, that felt good. Heavy boots. I should look at my inventory, right? So does the turret have a cooldown or what? Does it just stay there? I think it just stays there. So what happens if I set down another one? Hang on. Let's test it out here. Okay, alright. So the, the previous one breaks. That's understandable. Oh, a gruesome puzzle. Let me see. The wagon was a Attacked by the soldiers. And werewolves. No, the distribution of the paw prints is all wrong. They just rushed in and out. Did you just say distribution? And this track here? Is deeper. The beast was carrying someone. I'm impressed. As you should be. Right. Let's go find us a werewolf lair. All right, I like where this is going already. Remember, I've only played the second one, so I, my understanding of the story is a little bit disjointed. Okay. Let's get some turret action going. Ah, all right. <laughs> They're all mopped up before I could get to it. All right, what do we got? We've also got... Um, oh, God. So many hotkeys. Equipment, okay. So we've got equipment for Katarina as well. I don't think it actually shows up on her person like it does with us. Uh, heavy boots we will wear and the and the gloves. Uh, okay. And that looks like that's substantially better. Does she have something else? We do have a heavy belt. We'll wear that. And we've got a trophy. I don't think the trophy shows up, which is a shame. Is that, is that it? I think that's all about, oh, that and the headgear. Okay, I think, I think we're all good to go. And we can level Katarina up again. So what are we going to give her? Gains the ability to dodge attacks that would cause her to lose at least half of her current hit points. I think that might be valuable, especially because we've got her all up in the front lines. Uh... This ability determines how close your companion is to complete ethereal-ness and increases her resistance to all attacks. And it also increases a percentage of her chance-based skills. That seems valuable as well. So let's sort of do a bit of both, do a, an each-way bet there. And then we've also got our own skills to deal with. Holy shit. So let's just keep going ham into the, into the minion sort of stuff. Do we want more minions? I feel like we probably want more minions. Let's get more minions. Oh shit. And do we have anything for auras? No. I think they probably share skill points there. So it's sort of one or the other. Which is fine. I don't, I don't mind. I don't mind that at the moment. Um, okay. And more minions. Alright, so now we've got range spiders and, uh, and melee spiders. Oh, I like where this is going. <laughs> Alright, seems like the turret is something we save... 
for bigger fights. At least considering that we've got, um, we're rocking like a full minion build here. Oh yeah, that's, that's doing it good. I like the concept of the little spiders with cannons on their backs. Pressurize pack, is that any good? Which one is it? Pressurize pack. We have reduced minion DPS compared to what we had before. Will we get more HP and more mana? Uh, base weapon damage, which is not something I need because I'm not using my weapon. I probably should be using my weapon, but but I'm not. All right, fuck it. I will. <laughs> um, in fact, in fact, let's rock it like that. Okay. So how does rage work in this case? I still got to figure out how how I rage works. That. All right. Yeah, this is fairly rock and roll. And it tells us, uh, you know, how many minions we got down there, so we can, at a glance, without having to physically look at them, we we can make sure that we have our full complement. Excellent. Stop. All right, get some turret action. Oh shit! Oh, it's a massacre. I love it. I love it. <laughs> That's what I'm all about. And Katarina's just picking up the gold. Yeah, this is this is definitely my type of game and my type of, type of character. I can definitely see myself playing more of this. And the environments do look nice. There's a nice uh, bloom or glow on them. Scarecrows. I wish I could make a joke about your childish worries, but the werewolves seem to agree with you. I'm in a scarecrow. What have I done? He doesn't like scarecrows. What's happening here? Oh shit, it's boss time. Okay, yeah, we definitely need uh, turret action, and our minions need to come back. Why are we not doing any damage to us? Is that some, like, some sort of force field or some such? I feel like minions are the way to go with, with this sort of thing. Oh, look at them, tear them up! Oh, shit! Look, I don't know if it gets harder. Remember, this is hard mode. I mean, One well... One less childhood trauma to cope with, right? The best way to fight your demons is to beat them senseless. <laughs> like that. Um, I say hard mode. I mean the difficulty is set to hard. Um, I wonder... Does Do we share gold? Do I share gold with Katarina? I can also... So, um, Torchlight style, I can send her to go shopping, I believe. So she behaves like the pet from Torchlight as well. Uh, which is fairly sexual. Um... Katarina's deadly attacks develop the ability to drain life force from her foes, healing your wounds in the process. I'm not so sure if I necessarily need that. Ability to paralyze enemies with fear sometimes. Okay. Otherwise, uh, attacks become more furious and quick as lightning. Chance to avoid serious injury. I think I'm just going to make her tankier for now. And again, do this split between, you know hit points and damage and her resistances. This seems like the way to go for the moment. I think she can also be given potions and whatnot. Oh man, just so much. This is like, if you like the the customization aspects of ARPGs, which I do, that's like, that's my thing, um, then this is like a wet dream. <laughs> Minimum level required, okay. Assault mechanoids, cannon, Ornithopter, holy shit. Oh, this just this just feels so right. I'm really liking the idea of these uh, spiders with cannons on their back. So I think I'm going to go kind of ham into that. I like that. And then we've also got sort of side skills here. I haven't even looked at these. The passives, hang on. Range is increased by 4 meters. That seems helpful. They move 30% faster. Increase Damage increased by 30%. Uh, change of the spider's area. A spider's attacks do area damage that cause... Four, oh, shit. Uh, spies attacks have a 30% chance to knock enemies back. Jesus Christ, this is... This is extensive. And I still haven't put any points into auras. Holy shit. Uh, character sheets. <laughs> so let's start putting points into other things, shall we? Weird science. What does this do? Uh, represents your general skills as a constructor and increases your maximum mana and the maximum health of your minions. Oh, that definitely seems important. I shouldn't have been neglecting that. I definitely want minion health. Health, rather. Uh, okay. Jesus. 
this a portal or something? <laughs> it's just like concentrated ARPG goodness, you know? I'm, I'm, I've just, I've become wary that I might be, I might be sounding like a shill here. Um, but again, I'm like, I'm just, let's not call this like a first impressions or something, but this is sort of what I tend to do when I first pick up a game, you know, if I'm not fully aware of it, um, you know, before I, before I put it on YouTube, this is sort of how I end up talking about it. But I am genuinely liking what I'm seeing here. I, I, let me tell you right now, I don't like that, that minions despawn when you teleport. I mean, it's, it's not a deal breaker, it's just, I prefer that they remain persistent. Okay, plus one rage. I suppose this looks like better in almost every way. I mean, I'm not paying too much attention, attention to the equipment just yet, because, uh, you know, I tend not to when I'm recording. I do miss things. And we do have the, uh, the ever helpful, you know, reorganize your stash, your inventory. I, I do really appreciate that okay let's continue on the map will show vaguely where we need to go don't don't make me a liar show me where i need to go all right i guess because we're hang on uh find the stranded yeah, yeah find the wolf den so i suppose we're just exploring at this point oh man so many werewolves and then another level up holy shit <laughs> i'm not sure what the level cap here is uh, but there's also, like, supposedly a daily quest. There's, like, scenarios that you can play out, which seems like that might be more appropriate for YouTube content. So if you want to see more of this, you know, I'll, I'll leave it up to you. But, um, I'm thinking that might be the way to go. And, of course, as always, if you want to see more of this game, you got to like and share and whatnot. I mean, I'm not forcing you to, but <laughs> it's just the reality of the situation. You know, the better it does, then the, the more I can guarantee there will be more of it. Oh man, okay, now my minions are starting to bite it, and I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Okay, is Katarina around, or is she, has she cocked it? She's totally dead. Okay, companion death. When Katarina dies, she falls in a weakened state for a short time, while weakened, her passive skills still provide bonuses. Oh, I like that. I like that. Okay. But where is she? Oh, okay, she is there. She's still following me. Okay, turrets. And more minions, because they're starting to cock it. All right, all right, good stuff. But they took out the turret, is that right? Okay, well, I suppose maybe the turret can, at least for now, be the tank. The pack leader must be hiding in this hole. Promise me you won't start with one of your monologues. I am the hunter. I must make an impression here. They will tear you apart. <laughs> Trust me, <I> always listen. <laughs> must make an impression. I'm, I'm actually liking the dialogue here. It's a little bit corny, but it's it's making me laugh. Okay, let's get that turret up here out of the range of what I assume is an AoE. There we go. Okay. Certainly no shortage of loot. Minion DPS. Well, you know, I can't shy away from that. I, I wish that you could have substantial, like radically different weapons for... You know, for example, the constructor. It'd be nice if if you could be like full minion and then use a sword or something. As far as I'm aware, you can't do that. I don't know if that becomes a case, you know, later on or I don't know. But just from what I've played so far, uh, yeah, you seem to be stuck to this weird power pack sort of ugly Ghostbusters sort of thing. That doesn't really drive with me. Alrighty, so, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it there. We've been going for half an hour. Um, thank you very much for watching, guys. Taste the game! Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and check out my music at ricardoestartthere.com. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitter as well for news and updates and the like. Be excellent to each other, and I'll see you next time. Roleplay Gamer, out.